Okay, let's look at a problem. We want to write the interval 1, 5 union with the interval 3, 7 as a single interval. So we're as an interval. Okay? So to see this, we need to draw the number line. So let's look at Draw a number line here. So here's our number line. <coughs> let's say here's zero. Let's go with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay? I'm going to magenta. And so this interval here from one to five is going to mean I'm at one, but that this open parentheses means I don't get one. One's not included that open on 5, that parentheses on 5 means that's open. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that is here's 1, here's 5. So we don't get those two endpoints, but we get everything in between. Okay? And let's look at, let's go in yellow here. And look at that interval from 3 to 7. So 1, 2, 3. So I don't get the 3, 5, 6, 7 because of that parentheses. But the bracket here on 7 means I include 7 in this interval. So we do get 7 and then we get everything in between. Okay? And now the union, that union there just means that it's everything, all the numbers combined in those two intervals. So if we look at that, we see that all the numbers combined, even though I didn't get, let me see, let me go in a different color, my green here. Even though I didn't get, uh, one, two, oops, that should have went back. Here was three. Okay? Even though I didn't get three here, up here, I got it down here. So I'm good. Three, three's good. Even though I didn't get five here, I did get it here, so I'm good. So 5 is in the union. Uh, 3 is in the union. So everything between 1 open and 7 closed down here is in the union. So we see that this union is 1, 5 union 3, 7 equals the open, I don't get 1, but I go up to 7, and I get 7, so it is a closed bracket. So that is the union of 1, 5, uh, of the open interval 1, 5, with the half open interval 3, 7, that's closed on the 7 side. Okay? Let's do a second one. Let's do a second problem just like that, and let's do the intersection. So, let's write uh, 1, 5 intersected with 3, 7 as an interval. Okay? So again, let's draw the number line here. So here's going to be my 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And again, the same thing. This 1 to 5 is going to be 1 to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And you don't get the endpoints. Alright, and 3 to 7, again, is going to be 1, 2, 3. And I get 7 because that bracket is closed. I don't get 3 because it's open get everything in between okay and now we want the intersection that is where where, uh, where they both have the same things the, they have the same things in common where they are are alike so if we look we see here between uh, between here's where they intersect now to intersect they have to have having both of them so for example I get one I get three here, but I don't get three here, so three is not included, but everything after three is. I get uh 
one, two, three, four. I get five here. I mean, I don't get five there, but I get it there. So, but it's got to be in both of them, so it's not included. So, I get that it's going to be everything between three and five, not to include the endpoints three and five. So we get that the intersection from one to five intersected with three seven equals. Um, what's that going to be? Three, three to five. All right. I just want to conclude this video on uh, unions and intersections. Thank you.